guys, welcome to our channel where we give quick tips as parents of three to help with everyday life. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to put this Nuna Pippa car seat back on. Because you have taken it apart, you've washed it, you've cleaned it out, you got all the yucky out of it, um, but you can't remember how to put it back together. That's okay, this is why I'm making the video. And before we do that, I'd like to take a second to say, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us comments below if you still have questions about putting this back together. And then click subscribe if you want to see more from the Family of Five Quick Tips. And remember, you can hit that bell to see more videos that come out on Tuesday mornings. Okay, getting into the video. So we have the car seat, we washed it, we cleaned it, we got it all ready to be able to put back on here. Um, and so now we just wanted to remember how to do it. Um, you might have also washed this canopy, which I feel like is okay. Um, there's only a couple things to note. I imagine if you did wash the canopy and the rod is out, then here's the way to put it back together. Take the curve, insert it into the slot here, and you can tell by it's the front uh, by looking at the Nuna, the name, and then it has the zipper for the canopy, for the extended canopy, and slide it in. <coughs> Now whenever you get to the end, you'll notice that there are two elastic extensions. You need to make sure that the bar is inserted into that little elastic extension. That helps to keep it together. Okay, your canopy is assembled, it's ready to go now. Keep that to the side, we don't need to put it on just yet. So whenever putting back in, you'll note that there are three different levels for the shoulder straps, so figure out which one fits your child the best. And then you'll have two different uh, straps here for the bottom buckle, um, whichever will suit the, your child as well. Um, and then there are also two holes on either side here, uh, two slats on either side here at the base, and that is where the shoulder harnesses come in, and I'll show you. That's where we'll start. You'll need to take these shoulder straps, And insert it. Now underneath you'll see that you'll have to turn this clip sideways, insert it, and then the belt or the buckle as well. Turn it sideways and then it slips in. Now you want to keep this strap straight so that there are no kinks or turns in it. And so one side is in. Do the same thing for the other side. Keeping it straight. Turn it. Put one end in first. Okay. Now we have it in. And the shoulder straps are in. And so now you'll take the two ends, you'll figure out which level, and you'll insert it. My child's on the highest level, so I'll insert it through the cushion. And then there are actually three levels here on the frame of the actual car seat, so you'll need to make sure you match it up. So put it through the high level as well. Okay, do the same thing for the other side. Put it through the slot on the cushion and in the hole. You can pull them through the back. Okay. Now you turn it over. And you will see that the straps come out the back. And you can see the three holes in the back here. Um, so these are on the highest level. And then you'll also want to note that the picture here on the back will actually show you a diagram on how the straps should go. And you'll have to note these two bars. These two bars are what hold the, uh, the car seat in place in the base station in your car. Um, so you need to make sure that they are not obstructed. So these straps go underneath the bar like so. And this is a tightening strap with a clip. And so you'll want to take the shoulder strap and slide it in the groove all the way down and then push the shoulder strap 
hook, loop into that clamp. The shoulder strap has a loop. Slide it into the groove all the way down and then it just rests in place. And both this strap is underneath this bar and these two straps are underneath this top bar. And so now whenever it tightens, it'll actually pull tight that way. They're not obstructing the car seat base station. So now you can turn it over. Now when you turn it over, you can look for the plastic clips on the cushion to be able to connect it to um, the car seat. And it has three, one on top and two on the sides. You want to fit it over and then those plastic pieces slide next to the frame. Slide next to the frame and just turn and it's just a little support to hold the cushion on. <clears throat> and then whenever you turn it over you're just looking to match up the slot here with this clip on the side and then make sure that the cushion is underneath the canopy strap, the canopy hook. And so slides right behind it. Um, so it's over the button. The quick release for the car seat on the stroller. Once you place the cover over this release button, then you'll wanna see that it slides behind the canopy strap because you want that canopy bar to fit right there into the slot to be able to connect to the, the frame. And just make sure the rest of the cover looks good. Now it does have a, another clamp here, and that just hooks on the bottom of the frame. And the front part of the cushion just slides over, and it's elastic, so it holds tight. And you do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it's behind that canopy. Over that hook. Also note that this tightening strap is underneath the cover. You have to pull it through the hole in order for it to operate. And then there's a hole here that slides underneath the plate and just work your way around with your thumbs for, in order for it to fit correctly. And then you can find the belt buckle and pull it through one of the holes and you're set up. Shoulder straps are in. They're facing correctly. You can test them out. Make sure they look appropriate. If they're facing any different way, then you'll want to redo it, but they look very straight and correct. The shoulder straps, the little pads, you can put those on. And then I forgot to put this little pad on, but I like to keep it on just because you don't want to pinch them whenever you're putting the belt on, whenever you're clipping, clipping. you don't want to pinch them whenever you're clipping it into the seat belt. So it's just a simple pad to keep them cushioned. There you go. And then lastly, you want to put the canopy on. Note your two sides, they do have a hole here on the side um, and it actually will slot in. You'll hear a little click. Push it down here, a little click. And then in the back, it has a couple of Velcro spots and a couple of Velcro pieces on the canopy. Push that down and you're set. You're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this bonus video on how to put this cushion back on the Nuna Pippa car seat and to reattach the canopy. Um, for more videos like this, click subscribe. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave some comments below if we can help you out on getting this car seat assembled. And remember, be happy, have fun, and enjoy the season of life you're in. Thanks guys, see you next time.